Zero Limits A Journey into the Heart of Darkness and Light Copyright 2024 NLP Radio Inc. Attention! This book has been translated and narrated by artificial intelligence. Therefore, I apologize in advance for any potential errors in pronunciation. Introduction If they told you that the key to absolute peace and infinite power is in your hands, would you believe it? What if you realize that all your problems and fears are just an illusion and you can change not only yourself, but the world around you with the simplest words? In the book in your hands, a mysterious journey awaits you. A journey where you will be accompanied by Arash, a bold and curious researcher. He stumbles across an ancient book that promises a connection to a power beyond imagination. A power that can change the surrounding realities. But is this power a gift from the light forces or a dangerous trap from the dark forces? The Secret of Absolute Zero is a story of discovery, purification and internal and external battles. A story that takes you deep into the psyche and soul and with every page, challenges you to think about deep concepts like love, forgiveness and true power. This book is more than an emotional story. It is a journey into the world of the unknown, ancient mysteries and maybe even into yourself. Do you dare to start this journey? Prepare yourself for a unique experience. Maybe the answers to all the questions you were always looking for are hidden in these pages. Let's dive into this mystery. Part 1. The Fateful Encounter Arash, a young and passionate researcher, one day on a rainy afternoon, when his mind was tired of everyday worries, decided to seek refuge in a place that always gave him peace and thought, the old library of the city. This library was located in a remote corner of the city, where few people visited. A building with old stone walls and tall and narrow windows that refract the sunlight into a thousand colors inside with colored glass. As soon as he entered the library, he could smell old papers and old wood. He felt that this place has hidden secrets that are waiting to be discovered. Arash walked slowly among the shelves full of dusty books. Each book was a story from the past, and each page of them opens a new world to the reader. In one of the corner shelves, a book caught his attention. A book with a dark brown leather cover, which was out of reach of readers for years. Unlike other books whose titles were clearly written on the cover, this book had only a series of cryptic and strange letters. Arash could not stop his curiosity and took the book. When he touched the cover of the book, a strange feeling appeared in his heart. It was as if the book was talking to him, as if this book had been waiting for him. He looked more carefully at the letters on the cover. They looked familiar, but Arash couldn't remember what they meant. Without hesitation, he opened the book and started flipping through its pages. The pages were written in a language that was unfamiliar to him, but at the same time, there was a sense of familiarity. What struck him most was the simplicity and yet depth of the words written in the book. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. These words seemed simple, but there was a powerful and impressive feeling hidden in them. Arash could not stop reading them. The more he reads, the more he thinks that this book contains great secrets. As he neared the end of the book, he suddenly heard a voice behind him. The sound of someone's footsteps slowly coming towards him. Arash jumped up and came back. An old man with a long white beard, simple clothes and piercing eyes was standing behind him. This book seems to have drawn you in, the man said in a soft, kind voice. Arash, who was still in shock, nodded his head in approval. The old man slowly approached and placed his hand on the cover of the book. This book has been kept here for years, and few have dared to read it. This book contains deep secrets that only those who are ready can use it. Arash, now more curious than before, asked, What is this book about? Why is it so special? The old man replied with a gentle smile, This book talks about an ancient philosophy, a philosophy that empowers you to connect to an infinite source of love and light through inner cleansing. This power can not only change your life, but also change the reality around you. But be careful, because this power can be as dangerous as it can help you. Arash listened carefully to the man's words and felt that something bigger than what he imagined was waiting for him. She carefully put the book in her bag and said goodbye to the man. 
When he came out of the library, it was still raining, but he felt like the world had changed for him, as if what he was holding was a key that was supposed to open new doors for him. That night, when he got home, he spent the whole night thinking. The old man's voice was still in his ears, and the book that was now in his hands had created a feeling of strength and unknownness in his heart. He promised himself to study this book carefully and discover its secrets. Little did he know that this decision would start an adventurous journey that would change his life forever. This night was the first step on the journey that will take Arash to the depths of the unknown, a journey that may confront him with a power beyond imagination and may lead him to darkness from which there is no escape. Part 2. The Magic of Words The next morning, Arash woke up with a different feeling. The mysterious book he had found last night in the old library was still occupying his mind. He was always looking for deep meanings and answers to endless questions about life. But this book seemed more than just a normal text, something that could change everything. Arash ate his breakfast with boredom and immediately went to the book. When he held it in his hands again, he felt a deep connection with the object. He told himself that it might be better to repeat a few sentences from the book every day as a kind of spiritual exercise. Although the thought seemed strange to him at first, something inside him urged him to do so. She sat down on the couch, opened the book, and mumbled the words, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. These words, although they were very simple, but every time he repeated them, a deep sense of peace appeared within him as if these words had the power to cleanse his mind and soul. That same day, Arash decided to include these sentences as a daily habit in his life. Every morning, after waking up, he devoted a few minutes to repeating these sentences. At first, it seemed like a simple exercise for him, but over time, he noticed changes in himself and around him. At first, Arash noticed that his negative feelings had lessened. The daily stresses and worries that had always plagued his mind had strangely subsided. Even in situations that would normally challenge him, such as work problems or personal disputes, he remained surprisingly cool and calm, as if these simple words had somehow created a protective shield for him. One day, Arash faced a serious problem in his office. One of his colleagues had mistakenly prepared an important report incorrectly and this mistake could have had serious consequences for the project he was managing. While he usually gets stressed and worried in such situations, this time he decided to repeat the sentences of the book. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you, she whispered softly. Amazingly, he felt all his stress and worries disappear and his mind gained greater clarity. He was able to solve the problem and save the project with calmness and high concentration. After this experience, Arash came to believe that these sentences really have a power beyond imagination. He decided to take this exercise more seriously and delve deeper into the concepts of the book. The more he went along this path, the more he realized that these sentences not only affect him, but also the environment around him. One night, while sitting in his room flipping through the book, Arash came across a section of the book that seemed to provide further explanation of the philosophy behind these statements. In this section, the book talked about a concept called cleansing, a process during which a person can cleanse his mind and soul of all negative thoughts and energies by repeating these sentences and connect to a source of love and light. This concept was very attractive and challenging for Arash. He was always looking for a way to find inner peace and true happiness and now this book seemed to have the solution for him. But could he really achieve such a state by repeating these simple sentences? Was it just a mental exercise, or did it really have something to do with higher forces? With these questions running through his mind, he decided to pursue this cleansing process more seriously. Every day, he devoted more time to repeating the sentences and tried to repeat these sentences in his mind at different moments of the day, even when he was in the middle of daily tasks. As time passed, Arash noticed more changes in his life. His relationships with others had improved, his anger and rage had decreased, and even the environment around him seemed to react in a more positive way. These experiences strongly encouraged him to seek a deeper understanding of the concepts of the book. On one of the weekdays, when Arash was in his office, something happened that shocked him. One of his colleagues, 
who always treated him coldly and indifferently, came to him and asked him in a warm and friendly tone to collaborate on a joint project. This sudden and unexpected behavior made Arash think that maybe this behavior change is the result of his daily exercises with the book. Was it possible that the power of these sentences would even affect others? Arash decided to investigate this issue further. He began to study the book more closely, trying to find more hints and tips on how to use this power. Gradually, he came to the conclusion that these sentences were not only useful for his own inner cleansing, but could also influence others and even the environment around him. The more he went on this path, the more he believed that this book was not only a guide to improve his personal life, but also a key to open the gates of a new and unknown world. He felt that he had embarked on an adventurous and dangerous journey, a journey that might lead him to discover deeper secrets, but at the same time, it was also accompanied by challenges and dangers that he was still unaware of. These thoughts occupied him greatly. He couldn't let go of this book and the mysterious power that seemed to lie within it. Because of this, he decided to continue to study and practice more and see how far he could go with this power. Arash didn't know that his decision would soon lead him to paths he never imagined. Night came and Arash was still immersed in his thoughts and feelings. He had closed the book and placed it on the bedside table, but his mind was still occupied with what he had read. Could these simple sentences really have such profound effects? Could it be that there is something more than a mental exercise behind these words? With these thoughts, he fell asleep and had a strange dream again. In his dream, Arash found himself in a dark and ambiguous space. No sound could be heard, but he felt the presence of something or someone around him. He took slow, cautious steps towards the light flickering in the distance. As he got closer to the light, he saw that the source of the light was the same old book that now glowed strangely. The book was slowly floating in the air, and its pages were turning by themselves. Arash carefully approached the book. The pages of the book were turning quickly and then suddenly stopped. He glanced at the page that was opened in front of him. Unlike the other pages, this one had only one sentence, written in brilliant gold script, Purge yourself of darkness so you can see the light. This sentence resonated in Arash's mind. It seems that the book not only talked about the power of cleansing, but also about the necessity of getting rid of any kind of darkness inside. Arash felt that this message was for him, a guide to continue his path. At this moment, the light of the book grew more and more and covered the space around it. He closed his eyes, and when he opened them again, he found himself in his bedroom. His breathing was fast and heavy, but gradually calmed down. His dream seemed strangely real and alive. He felt that the book was leading him, but he still didn't know where. Although Arash was tired, he could not sleep again. He got up from the bed and slowly went to the table and picked up the book. Something inside told him that he should read it. Maybe he would find the answer to his questions at that moment. He returned to the same page he had seen in his dream. There were no shiny golden sentences on the paper, but a sentence written in simple handwriting. Purification is the first step on the path to the true self. This sentence made him think. The concept of true self in this sentence had attracted him more than anything else. Arash always wanted to get closer to his true self, but until now he didn't know how. Maybe this book was the guidance he needed. The next day, Arash decided to put this sentence at the top of his life. Every morning, before starting any task, he devoted a certain amount of time to repeating the cleansing sentences, and gradually he realized that these exercises not only affected his mind and emotions, but also helped him to gain a deeper understanding of himself. He felt that he was gradually approaching the deeper layers of his being, layers that were full of light and peace. One afternoon, when Arash was walking in the park, he unexpectedly ran into his old friend, Farhad. Farhad, who had not spoken to her for a long time, hugged her warmly and told her about his life. Arash realized that Farhad was involved in serious family problems and felt that his life was falling apart. He was deeply affected by Farhad's words and felt that he should help him. Arash, remembering the cleansing sentences and their effect on his own life, decided to suggest this method to Farhad. He kindly and calmly told Farhad, maybe this seems strange to you, 
but I have an exercise that might help you. Just repeat these sentences every day. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. Farhad, who was frustrated and restless, was a little hesitant at first, but when he saw Arash's interest and insistence, he decided to try this method. A few weeks later, when she met Farhad again, she found him strangely calmer and more hopeful. Farhad said with a smile to Arash, I don't know how to say, but these sentences really helped me. I feel that part of the heavy burden that was on my shoulders has been lifted. These changes in Farhad assured Arash that the sentences of the book really have a power beyond imagination. He was now sure that he had chosen the right path. Arash vowed to himself to continue to explore this power deeper, and this time not only for himself, but for others as well. Over time, Arash achieved more success not only in his personal life, but also in his work and social relationships. He felt that by clearing his mind and heart, he had reached a place where he could attract more light and love into his life. This light and love not only saved him from darkness, but also gave him strength and courage to help others. Arash had realized the importance of cleansing now more than ever. He knew that this was not only a simple method, but a powerful tool for change and transformation. A tool that led him to a deeper journey into himself and his true self-knowledge. He was ready to continue this path with all its challenges and mysteries because he now knew that this path was the path to the light. At night, when he fell asleep, there was no more darkness and fear. He basked in peace and light, confident that each day was a step toward greater light. Arash now knew very well what his true self was and how he could achieve it. For the first time in his life, he felt complete and satisfied with life. This was only the beginning of the journey that Arash had started with his mysterious book, a journey that takes him to the depths of the unknown and maybe even to his true self. The more he went down this path, the more he came to the conclusion that true power is within, and this book was just a guide to achieving that power. He was now ready to deal with any challenge in this path with self-confidence and calmness. Part 3. Hidden Secrets in the Heart of Darkness A few months had passed since Arash had started the cleansing exercises. Every day, he understood the concepts of the book more deeply and observed tremendous changes in his life. These exercises had brought him to a place where he no longer felt anger, hatred, or jealousy. He had achieved a deep peace, and this peace seemed to be reflected in every aspect of his life. But Arash felt that something was neglected in the meantime. Although he was able to eliminate many problems and negative emotions, he still felt that there was a hidden layer of his being that was preventing him from reaching his true self. He decided to seek to uncover these hidden layers, even if it meant facing his deepest fears. One night, when Arash was lying on his bed and staring at the ceiling, a sudden thought came to his mind. He remembered a dream he'd had a few months ago, a dream where he'd gone to a glowing book and seen a sentence written in gold, purge yourself of the darkness so you can see the light. This sentence now had a new meaning for him. Arash understood that in order to achieve more light, he had to face his inner darkness. The next day, Arash decided to dedicate a whole day to meditation and deep thinking. He went to a forest near the city where he could introspect in silence and peace. When he reached the forest, he found a quiet and secluded spot and began to meditate. He closed his eyes and traveled within himself. In the beginning, Arash achieved the same peace as usual, but gradually, unpleasant thoughts and feelings appeared in his mind, thoughts that had suppressed them for a long time. He remembered his childhood, when he had faced many problems and pains, he remembered the moments when he felt alone and helpless, the moments when he resented others and felt that his life had fallen into darkness. These unpleasant memories and feelings occupied his mind. Arash felt that these are the darkness that he has to face. He took a deep breath and told himself that this time, instead of running away from them, he would face them. He decided to accept all these feelings and accept them as a part of him. By accepting these darknesses, Arash felt that a heavy burden was lifted from his shoulders. He realized that these darknesses are a part of his existence, and the only way to get rid of them is to accept and reconcile with them. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you, he repeated softly. 
These words not only calmed him down, but also helped him come to peace with his inner darkness. When Arash opened his eyes, the sun was setting. He felt that he had achieved a kind of rebirth. The sense of lightness and freedom that emerged inside him was indescribable. He realized that this experience was a turning point in his journey, an experience that brought him closer to the depth of his being. A few days later, Arash called one of his close friends named Nader and decided to talk to him about his experience. Nader, who was a spiritual and thoughtful person, listened to Arash's words with interest and said, what you experienced is part of the path of growth and evolution. We all have darkness within us that we must face. But it is important to see these darknesses not as enemies, but as teachers. They show us where we need to work more and where we still need to clean up. Arash felt more relaxed after hearing these words. He realized that the journey he was on was a never-ending journey and there were always new layers to discover and clear. He decided to continue his learning and training and never deviate from his path. One night, Arash suddenly had another dream. In his dream, he found himself in a dark and mysterious forest. There was no light and only the sound of the wind and rustling of leaves could be heard. Arash slowly moved deeper into the forest, but with every step he took, it got darker and darker. He felt that this forest was a symbol of his inner darkness, darkness that he had yet to face. In the midst of this darkness, suddenly a faint light appeared from a distance. Arash moved towards that light, although fear and doubt were surging in his heart. As he got closer to the light, he saw that it was coming from a small lantern held by an unknown man. The man smiled at Arash and said, Never be afraid of the dark. It is the darkness that leads you to the light. Only by passing through it can you achieve true enlightenment. Arash woke up and while still thinking about the man's words, he felt that he had gained some kind of new awareness. He realized that the darkness and challenges he faces in life are part of his growth path. He now knew that instead of running away from them, he had to accept them and bravely go through them. The next day, Arash returned to his daily work with new energy and motivation. He decided to see every challenge that came his way as an opportunity to grow and evolve. He reminded himself that darkness is part of the journey, and with each step he takes, he gets closer to the light. A few weeks later, Arash met Nader again. This time, he spoke about his new experience of confronting his inner darkness. Congratulations to you, Arash, Nader said with a smile. You are going through different stages of your journey, and each time you reach a new level of awareness. But remember that the path is endless and there are always new things to learn and experience. Hearing these words, Arash felt more hopeful and confident. He now knew that his journey to his true self was not over and that he still had to face new challenges and darkness. But he was no longer afraid of this path, but was stepping towards the future with more courage and awareness. At night, when Arash went to sleep, he was no longer afraid of the dark. He knew that these darknesses were only opportunities for growth and learning, and the more he faced them, the more light and peace he would achieve. Arash now continued his life with deep peace and new hope, knowing that every step he takes on this path will lead him to discover more secrets of his existence. The fourth part, the journey into oneself. The weather was cold and rainy, but Arash, regardless of the weather, decided to start another journey. He felt that it was time to dig deeper into himself and discover truths that he had been unaware of until now. This time, there was no physical travel involved. The journey he was about to embark on was a journey deep within himself, where perhaps there were still hidden layers of darkness and light. Arash, now looking at purification exercises and meditation as an integral part of his life, decided to spend a whole day in reflection and silence. He went to his room, where he always felt comfortable and safe. After turning off the cell phone and putting away all distractions, he sat down on the floor and closed his eyes. He took deep and calm breaths and gradually separated himself from all thoughts and daily worries. His mind slowly emptied of the noise of the world outside and he reached a calm and focused state. This is where his journey began, a journey into his inner world where many truths and secrets were waiting for him. At first, deep peace and silence reigned over Arash's mind, 
he found himself in an empty and endless space where there was nothing but himself and his feelings. But gradually, this silence gave way to images that came out from the depths of his mind. These images were memories that originated from his childhood and adolescence, moments he had forgotten for a long time. He saw himself in the midst of children's games and happy moments, but these images quickly changed and were replaced by memories of pain and suffering. Moments that remember the loss of loved ones, life failures, and disappointments. Arash felt that these memories are heavy burdens that still weigh heavily on his shoulders. He understood that these were the darknesses that he had to face. With every image and memory that crossed his mind, Arash felt that a part of his being was affected. Instead of running away from these feelings, he decided to embrace them and understand them wholeheartedly. He told himself that he should look at each of these memories through the eyes of a teacher, a teacher who came to teach him something. This knowledge made Arash feel more relaxed. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. She began repeating the cleansing lines. By repeating these sentences, he felt that these unpleasant memories and feelings were gradually disappearing. He realized that these sentences are not only a tool to cleanse his mind and soul, but also a way to accept and reconcile with the past. Arash continued his inner journey and reached deeper layers of his being. He found himself in the middle of a sea of conflicting emotions, emotions that challenged him and made him think. But every time he encountered one of these feelings, instead of being afraid or running away, he approached it and tried to understand it. This process gradually made Arash achieve a kind of acceptance and peace that he had never experienced before. He realized that all these feelings and memories are a part of him and he cannot ignore or destroy them. Rather, he should accept them as a part of himself and allow them to guide him towards growth and evolution. After a few hours of thinking and meditating, Arash felt that he had reached a turning point. He had achieved a kind of self-awareness that allowed him to live more at peace with himself. He now knew that he had to respect all aspects of his being and accept them as part of his path of growth and development. When Arash opened his eyes, he felt that he had achieved some sort of awakening and enlightenment. He slowly got up and looked around. Everything seemed brighter and more alive. He felt that this experience helped him reach a new level of awareness and peace. The next day, Arash decided to share his experience with one of his close friends named Sarah. Sarah, who was also a spiritual and thoughtful person, carefully listened to Arash's words and finally said, This experience you had is very valuable. We all face darkness in our lives that we have to face. But it is important to see this darkness as an opportunity to grow and learn. Arash felt more satisfied and relaxed after hearing these words. He realized that this inner journey is a never-ending journey and that there are always new things to discover and experience. He decided to continue this journey and never stop searching and discovering his true self. Weeks passed and Arash continued his cleansing and meditation exercises. Every day he gained new layers of his being and felt that he was gradually getting closer to his true self. He no longer feared his inner darkness but accepted it as part of his growth and development. One day, Arash decided to go to the forest and spend some time in nature. He went to a remote and quiet place and meditated there. Amidst the silence and peace of the forest, Arash achieved a kind of harmony and peace that he had never experienced before. He felt that he had achieved a deeper connection with himself and the world around him. At this moment, Arash remembered a sentence he had read in the book, Cleaning is the first step on the way to the true self. He understood the meaning of this sentence very well now. This cleansing was not only of darkness and challenges, but also of all negative and limiting thoughts and feelings. He found that this inner journey helped him reach a new level of awareness and enlightenment. Arash promised himself to continue on this path and never stop searching and discovering his true self. He knew that this path would be full of challenges and darkness, but he was now strong enough to face them and overcome them. At night, when Arash went to sleep, there was no more darkness and fear. He slept peacefully and confidently, knowing that each day was a step towards greater enlightenment and awareness. Arash now knew very well that his journey to his true self is not over, and he still has to face new challenges and darkness.
but he was no longer afraid of this path, but was stepping towards the future with more courage and awareness. He had come to understand that the path to the true self is an endless path full of learning. The further he went down this path, the more he came to the conclusion that true power was within, and this journey was the only way to achieve that power. He was ready to face any challenge in this path with self-confidence and calmness. Part 5. Facing the Shadows After discovering the secrets of the ancient book and the special abilities he gained through the purification sentences, Arash felt that his life had completely changed. But these changes were only the beginning of a more complex and dark path. He was now in a position to face challenges beyond human understanding. One night, while Arash was reading a book, he heard a mysterious voice from inside the book. At first he thought his imagination was playing tricks on him, but as he focused more, he heard whispers clearly coming from within the book. These voices were leading him to something that was outside the realm of light and purity. Arash continued to study more carefully. He realized that this book was not only a source of purification and light, but also had hidden and dark pages that he had been unaware of until now. These pages contained writings that spoke of people who had used the power of purification for evil and selfish purposes. Over and over, he read stories of people who, instead of using cleansing statements for release and relaxation, had used them to gain power and control over others. These individuals, known as shadows, were able to use dark powers for their own purposes. They had not only harmed themselves, but had also brought destruction to the world around them. Arash was now faced with a bitter truth. He realized that the power he has in his hands can not only lead him to the light, but can also drag him to the abyss of darkness and corruption. He had to decide how to use this power and whether he would be able to resist the temptations of the dark forces. One dark night, when Arash was alone in his house, he suddenly felt the presence of someone or something around him. He slowly looked around, but saw nothing. But this feeling was still with him. A feeling that was not only scary, but also strangely familiar. Arash felt that this presence was more than a simple fantasy or fear. Suddenly, he heard a knock on his door. Arash went to the door with surprise and a little fear and opened it. Behind the door, an old man with a serious face and piercing gaze was standing. This man introduced himself as the Master of Shadows and told Arash that he had been watching him for a long time. He added that Arash has the power to change the world, but this change towards light or darkness depends on Arash's choices. The Master of Shadows suggested to Arash that instead of using his powers for purification and love, he should use them to gain wealth, power, and control over others. He promised that if he accepts this offer, Arash can become one of the most powerful people in history. Arash felt a strange internal conflict in front of this proposal. He knew very well that the power he possessed could lead him to dark temptations. But on the other hand, he remembered the cleansing words and the peace he had gained through them. He had to decide if he wanted to use this power to save the world or succumb to the temptations of the Master of Shadows. This moment was one of the most difficult moments in Arash's life. He had to choose whether he wanted to walk down a dark and unknown path or stay true to the path of purification and love. Finally, Arash decided to stick to his principles. He firmly told the Master of Shadows that he would use his power to help others and save the world. Disappointed by this answer, the Master of Shadows warned Arash that this decision would make him the main enemy of all dark forces. But Arash, with self-confidence and faith in the path he had chosen, was ready to face all the new challenges and enemies ahead of him. This encounter was a turning point in Arash's life. He now knew full well how dangerous his path was, but he also knew that only through purification and love could he achieve ultimate victory. Arash continued on his way with a stronger will than ever. Now he not only had to deal with the dark forces outside, but he also had to face his own inner darkness. He was ready to walk this difficult path and move towards his ultimate goal, which is the victory of light and love. Part 6. The Difficult Choice Arash was deeply involved in the challenges he faced. He had faced the temptations of the Master of Shadows, and in the meantime, he had to make a fateful decision. A choice that could affect not only his future, but the future of the world. 
day and night he thought about this choice, especially when he remembered the promises of the Master of Shadows. He had entered a new world, one where power and wealth could be acquired quickly. But could he overcome these temptations and stick to the principles he had lived by? One dark night, Arash was sitting in his house and was deep in thought. The sound of the rain gently hit the window panes and the dim light of the lamp had turned the room into a soft light. In the meantime, he felt that the pressure of the choice he had to make was increasing day by day. He remembered the promise he made to himself, a promise to use his power to help others and save the world. But now, he was faced with attractive and tempting offers that promised him endless power and dominance. He had to decide whether he should respond to these temptations and pursue instant gratification, or stick to his principles and continue on the path he had chosen. Arash decided to talk to his friends and advisors to reach a clearer conclusion. He went to see Sarah, his close friend. Knowing about Arash's challenges, Sarah listened to him carefully and tried to help him make a rational decision. Sarah said, Arash, you are currently in a situation where you have to choose between power and principles. This choice depends only on you, and only you can find the right path. But remember that every choice you make has consequences. You must remember that power is not valuable by itself. Rather, the purpose for which you use it is more important. Hearing these words, Arash realized that his decision should be based on his core values and long-term goals. He knew that power and wealth might be attractive in the short term, but would they bring him true happiness and peace? He should have considered this question carefully. Sarah continued, Also remember that your choices affect the future of others. The power you have can be used for positive change in the world, but if used incorrectly, it can have many negative consequences. So remember that every decision you make affects not only yourself, but also those who depend on you. Arash thought about these points and decided that he should take a deeper look at himself and his goals. Heeding Sarah's advice, he decided to seek more truth and light and use all his abilities to serve others. For this purpose, Arash began to study the ancient book more deeply and tried to learn more about the basics of Hupanapono. Along the way, he talked to several spiritual masters and other counselors and tried to make the best decision for himself and the world. This process led him to a deeper understanding of himself and the world around him. Arash remembered the cleansing sentences and decided that he should use them as a guide for his decisions. He told himself that he should choose based on the principles he had learned during this time and use his power for positive and benevolent purposes. After some deliberation and consultation, Arash made his final decision. He decided to continue the path of purification and service to others with all the strength and energy he has. He knew very well that this choice was a challenging and difficult path, but he also knew that only by adhering to the main principles and values, he could achieve his goals and reach a kind of true peace and happiness. With self-confidence and strong will, Arash continued on his way and was ready to face the new challenges and enemies that were in front of him. He was now more than ever committed to his goals and knew that this choice would affect not only his future but the future of the world. He remembered the famous saying, our choices make us. And with this understanding, he was ready to face any challenge that came before him with courage and awareness. The seventh part, journey to another dimension. Determined to continue on the path of purification and service to others, Arash was ready to step into an unknown world with the new powers he had gained through Ho'oponopono. He knew very well that this journey would take him to another dimension. A dimension where positive and negative forces are in balance and will offer him a new world of realities and challenges. To start this journey, Arash needed a guide. He decided to contact spiritual masters and ancient researchers to find a way to enter this new dimension. He referred to one of the experienced and reliable professors named Professor Sorab, who specialized specifically in the field of spiritual and dimensional journeys. Professor Sorab said with respect to Arash, journey to another dimension requires full preparation and commitment. In this journey, you will face deeper truths of existence and the world. You must be ready to face all the positive and negative forces and use these experiences for your growth and development. Master Saurabh gave Arash instructions about the techniques and exercises necessary to enter another dimension. 
He told Arash that he should strengthen his spiritual powers through deep meditation and prepare his mind to receive new energies. Also, he emphasized that Arash should be ready to face new challenges and unknown experiences. Arash carefully listened to Master Sorb's advice and started preparing himself for the journey to another dimension. Every day, he devoted a lot of time to meditation and spiritual exercises, trying to establish a deeper connection with himself and the world. One day, after weeks of training and preparation, Arash felt that the right time had come to start his journey to another dimension. He sat in a quiet and secluded place, which he had prepared with his spiritual exercises and meditated with full concentration. Gradually, he felt new energies flowing around him and the material world gradually fading away. Suddenly, Arash felt that he was slowly being separated from the material world and transported to another dimension. He entered a new space that was not only different from the material world, but also full of bright lights, powerful energies, and spiritual beings. This dimension was a place where positive and negative forces were in balance, and everything in it was directly related to Arash's inner state. Arash looked around with astonishment and wonder and realized that this new dimension included places and spiritual beings that he had never seen before. He encountered beings of light and positive energies who welcomed him and were ready to accompany him on this spiritual journey. In this dimension, Arash faced new challenges that required a deeper understanding of himself and the world. He encountered positive and negative forces that symbolically represented different aspects of his existence and inner realities. These beings and energies helped Arash to get to know more about himself and the true meaning of life. Arash realized that this dimension is a place where he can reflect more deeply on his life and goals and face new challenges that give him the opportunity to grow and progress. He knew very well that this trip would not only introduce him to new aspects of his existence, but also help him gain a better understanding of the balance of positive and negative forces in life. One of Arash's most important experiences in this dimension was facing his inner shows. He was faced with images and feelings that remained in his mind from the distant past and needed to be cleared. These shows showed him how past experiences and false beliefs can greatly affect his present and future. In this dimension, Arash gradually came to a deeper understanding of the true meaning of life and its goals. He realized that this trip was not only a spiritual experience, but also an opportunity for self-discovery and personal growth. He recalled how using the spiritual powers and techniques of Ho'oponopono could help him gain a better understanding of himself and the world and face new challenges with courage and awareness. Finally, after spending some time in this other dimension and experiencing new challenges and teachings, Arash decided to return to the material world and use his new experiences and teachings to serve others and continue the path of purification. With a deeper understanding of the balance of positive and negative forces and through the spiritual experiences he had gained, he was ready to face the new challenges that lay before him. Arash returned to the material world with new hope and motivation and continued on his way with self-confidence and readiness to use his new knowledge and powers. He was now ready to face all the new challenges and opportunities in front of him and get closer to his ultimate goal, which is the victory of light and love. Part 8. Internal War Arash returned to the material world and gained a deeper understanding of his life and spiritual powers with his new experiences from another dimension. But even though he was ready to face external challenges, he now faced an internal battle that seriously needed attention and focus. In the first days of his return, Arash realized that his inner war was much more complicated than he imagined. The new powers and deep knowledge he gained help him face external challenges, but at the same time, his inner feelings and fears constantly urge him to fight. One night, Arash was sitting in his room and while remembering the teachings of the other dimension, he felt a heavy burden on his shoulders. This time, it wasn't coming from external dark forces, but from his inner fears, doubts, and worries. He was stuck with these inner feelings and couldn't get rid of them easily. Arash decided to go to the heart of these fears and face them. In search of inner peace and clarity, he continued to practice meditation and cleansing. Every time he meditated, 
He was confronted with images and feelings that came from the distant past and from unpleasant and hurtful experiences. These feelings showed him how false beliefs and past experiences can affect his present and future. One of Arash's most important internal challenges was facing the fear of failure. He feared that his new powers and knowledge would not be enough to protect him from the dark forces. This fear of failure led him to self-doubt and self-doubt, which prevented him from fully focusing on his goals. Arash was trying to overcome these fears and remember what he had learned on his spiritual journey. He reminded himself that every challenge he faced was an opportunity to grow and learn. With this realization, he decided to actively face these fears and turn them into tools for improvement. One night, Arash fell asleep and was symbolically confronted by a vision of himself that seemed to embody his innermost fears. This picture reminded him of his past and the problems he faced. He encountered this vision in his dream and tried to gain a better understanding of himself by discussing and reflecting on his fears and concerns. This encounter with himself in the dream helped Arash to face his feelings and fears and examine them in a logical and deeper way. He came to the conclusion that he should use these fears in a positive and constructive way and use them as a stimulus for growth and development. Arash also realized that in order to win his inner war, he needed to strengthen his relationship with himself and with the spiritual world. He remembered the teachings of the other dimension and practiced meditation and purification regularly. These exercises helped him to deal with his inner war more calmly and clearly and to deal with his fears and doubts more effectively. Over time, Arash felt that his inner war gradually became calmer and clearer. He was able to face his fears and worries and turn them into tools for growth and development. He was now more confident and calm and was ready to face new challenges and new opportunities in front of him. Arash remembered that every victory over inner fears and challenges means a step closer to his ultimate goal. With this understanding, he continued on his path and with courage and awareness sought to realize his goals and achieve the final victory. Part 9. The Final Confrontation Arash was now ready to face the final challenge with his self-confidence and new abilities that he had gained from his spiritual journey to another dimension. The Dark Forces, who were well aware of his strength and determination, had strongly opposed him at this stage. As a result, Arash had to fight a great and decisive battle with all his might and using the knowledge and powers he had acquired. The hour that Arash had chosen for the final battle was near. Breathing slowly and preparing his mind for the fight, he remembered all the teachings and experiences he had gained. At these moments, he strongly felt that he had to use all his spiritual powers and knowledge in order to face powerful and deceitful enemies. Dark forces were waiting for Arash. They were well aware that he was ready to stand up to them and were trying to distract him in every possible way. These forces attacked Arash in a symbolic and powerful way and tried to pull him towards doubt, fear, and weakness. Arash stood against these dark forces with courage and strong will. He remembered that the more he trusted his inner and spiritual powers, the more he would be able to face challenges and achieve victory. With complete concentration, she used the cleansing chants and teachings of Ho'oponopono to banish negative energies and darkness and attract light. The final battle was extremely exciting and complex. The dark forces were constantly trying to find and exploit Arash's weak points with various attacks. But Arash, using all his spiritual abilities and inner powers, was able to effectively counter these attacks and slowly push back the dark forces. In this battle, Arash faced various challenges, each of which required a lot of attention and precision. He faced enemies who were constantly changing form and trying to mislead him. But Arash, using his knowledge and experience, was able to deal with these challenges logically and confidently and get closer to victory. One of the most important challenges of the final battle was facing Arash's inner shadows. The dark forces symbolically displayed his inner shadows and tried to divert him from his path. These shadows represented Arash's inner fears, worries, and doubts, and they had to be faced effectively and deeply. Arash, with all his strength and using his spiritual teachings, addressed these shadows and tried to turn them into light. With self-confidence and inner strength, 
He was able to overcome these shadows and drive them away with light and positive energies. As time passed, Arash was able to win the final battle. The dark forces were gradually defeated and moved away from his path. With the courage and strength he had gained, Arash was able to bring light and love to victory and achieve peace and success. At the end of the battle, Arash breathed a sigh of relief and was proud of the result he had achieved. He was able to face all the challenges and enemies, and by using his spiritual powers and knowledge, he won the victory. This victory not only showed his strength and abilities, but also helped him gain a deeper understanding of himself and the world around him. With new self-confidence and motivation, Arash was ready to continue on his path and take advantage of new victories. He knew that this victory was only one stage of his long journey, and he must remember that every victory is an opportunity for further growth and development. He looked to the future with new hope and motivation and was ready to face every challenge that came his way with courage and awareness. This final battle had not only helped him achieve victory, but also taught him that with strength and faith, he could achieve anything he set his mind to. Part 10. Victory of Light After the final battle, there was deep peace and silence. Having achieved a great victory over the dark forces, Arash had now entered a new phase of his spiritual journey. With the deep experiences and powers he had gained through Ho'oponopono, he had gained a deeper understanding of the concept of light and love. Arash slowly looked at himself and the world around him and realized that his victory was not just an end point, but the beginning of a new and important stage in his journey. He concluded that the victory over the dark forces had allowed him to gain a deeper understanding of the true meaning of life and light, and to share this awareness with others. For the first time, Arash clearly understood that light and love are not just abstract concepts, but powerful forces that can change the world and give meaning and depth to life. With this new understanding, he looked for ways to apply this light and love in his life and in the world around him. Arash decided to help others and bring light into their lives by using his new powers and the lessons he had learned from his journey to another dimension. By planning and preparing, he looked for ways to use his experiences to improve the lives of others. He recalls that during his journey, he encountered people who were somehow involved with dark forces and were looking for a way to find peace and happiness. Arash decided to connect with these people and share his experiences and teachings with them. By conducting counseling sessions and workshops, he helped others gain a better understanding of light and love and use spiritual powers to improve their lives. One of Arash's most important activities was promoting Ho'oponopono techniques. By holding classes and workshops, he taught others how to achieve inner peace and happiness by using cleansing phrases and spiritual techniques. By doing this, he enabled others to use their inner powers to achieve positive changes in their lives and bring light into their world. In this way, Arash also cooperated with charity and social projects and improved the condition of needy communities. Using his spiritual powers and knowledge, he brought about positive changes in society and helped promote the values of light and love. With these actions, he showed that real victory is when we can help others and bring light to their lives. During this process, Arash faced challenges and problems, but by using his spiritual teachings and his inner powers, he was able to overcome these problems and achieve his goals. He realized that every challenge he faced was an opportunity to grow and learn and he should approach them with confidence and awareness. In the end, with a sense of satisfaction and peace, Arash came to the conclusion that the victory of light not only means the defeat of the dark forces, but also means achieving a deeper understanding of himself and the world around him. Using his spiritual powers and newfound knowledge, he sought to fulfill his ultimate goal and was ready to continue his journey and take advantage of new victories. Arash looked to the future and with new hope and motivation, he was ready to face every challenge that came before him with courage and awareness. He knew that true victory is when we can help others and bring light to our world. With this understanding, he continued his spiritual journey and sought to fulfill his goals and serve others with a heart full of love and light. Conclusion The Final Message and Deep Understanding of Light After an adventurous journey and great challenges, Arash reached a point where he could reflect deeply on what he had learned. Victory over dark forces 
and achieving peace and light was only part of the story. Now, it was time for him to have a deeper understanding of the main message of the book and the ultimate goal of his journey. At this stage, Arash came to understand that real victory in life lies not only in defeating external enemies, but also in achieving internal changes and personal growth. Reflecting on her experiences, she realized that the most important part of her journey was discovering her inner strengths and using them to change the world around her. The main message of the book emphasizes the importance of knowing and using the light inside each person. Light means love, understanding, and spiritual powers that can change the world and give meaning and depth to lives. This light does not only mean physical light, but also mental and spiritual light that can resist the darkness and challenges of life. Arash concluded that his spiritual journey has allowed him to understand the concept of light more deeply and use it to advance his goals and improve the lives of others. He understood that light, in its truest sense, only works when we can cultivate it within ourselves and then transmit it to the world around us. In this regard, Arash realized the importance of communication with himself and others. Recalling his experiences, he concluded that human connections and spiritual abilities play an important role in creating positive changes in life. He remembered that during his journey, he had come across many people who needed guidance and support, and now, he could help them using his experience and knowledge. Arash also realized the importance of self-acceptance and love. He realized that in order to help others and bring light into their lives, he must first be honest and kind with himself. Accepting his weaknesses and strengths helped him to achieve more growth and progress and reach his goals with more confidence and calmness. One of the key points that Arash realized is the importance of continuity and stability in the spiritual path. He understood that great victories are the result of constant efforts and commitment to spiritual principles. With this understanding, he looked for ways to apply the principles of Ho'oponopono and other spiritual teachings to his daily life and achieve further growth and development. Arash came to the conclusion that every victory is an opportunity to learn and grow more and he should face every challenge in life with courage and awareness. With new hope and motivation, he continued his spiritual journey and sought to fulfill his goals and serve others by using his new experiences and knowledge. In the end, with a heart full of love and light, Arash discussed the main message of the book and concluded that the light inside each person can lead to great and positive changes in the world. With this understanding, he continued his life and with courage and self-confidence, sought to realize his goals and make positive changes in the world around him. The final message of this book is to emphasize that the light and love inside each person can lead to great and positive changes in life and in the world through effort, awareness, and commitment. Every person can achieve more growth and progress by using their inner powers and by accepting and loving themselves and helping others to achieve light and happiness. With this message, Arash reached the end of his journey and with new hope and motivation, he was ready to continue his journey and take advantage of new victories. He remembered that every step he takes towards light and love means getting closer to his ultimate goal. And with this understanding, he continued his spiritual journey and sought to fulfill his goals with a heart full of love and light.